As expected, some much needed rainfall on this first day of December to wrap up the week. Uh, that steady rain uh, ended fairly quickly, but what we've been left with a lot of low level clouds and moisture. And of course, that's produced a few spotty showers and some drizzles, some consistent shower chances ahead, not a washout by any stretch. Good news for the weekend, at least temperatures stay well into the 50s. It is going to be a, a little bit cooler next week, especially later in the week. Low clouds and again, spotty showers and drizzle on our Max HD radar and satellite. That solid shield of rain now moving through the mid Atlantic and up into New England. The main surface low is still out to our west, so that's kind of keeping that southerly flow in place. Bluegrass Pace Care, Skyview HC Camera Network, Mount Sterling in Montgomery County. Folks gathering for an event there around the Christmas tree uh, down, down in uh, there in Mount Sterling in Montgomery County. It's mainly dry there, just cloudy and 54, so temperature's not bad. That south to southwest wind still at about 10 to 15. That's going to continue to be the case. You see temperatures into the mid to upper 50s, not going to move very much, if at all. I think over the next few hours, maybe dropping three or four degrees during the overnight hours. So again, relatively mild. That area of low pressure still out to our west, and that will be spinning eastward. But we are going to continue to see the rain chances because we've got several waves of low pressure that will be uh, at least close enough to impact our area over the next three or four days easily. Look at temperatures heading into early tomorrow. Still hanging in the low and mid 50s and look at southeastern Kentucky. That is that secondary wave to our southeast tomorrow, which may bring some decent rainfall into the southeastern mountains where we need it. It could be as far north as the bluegrass region, so just take the rain gear along uh, if you've got any plans tomorrow. Solid rain totals uh, running uh, from Williamsburg uh, over toward Hazard and up toward London. Again, very lighter amounts uh, here in the bluegrass, but as that system exit an exits, another one follows suit heading into early Sunday. I think most of the shower chances early in the day maybe even breaking out into some sunshine by the afternoon. And then that next wave comes in with a few showers. Note, it will be cooler on Monday. We'll be on the north side of the low, north of the warm front, so slightly cooler air then. And again, the parade of these waves of low pressure that continues early next week. This clipper system diving out of southern Canada, I think far enough to the north where the shower chances will be minimal, but nevertheless, they will be around and then uh, it does look a little bit cooler into the mid part of next week. Additional rain chances beyond what we'll have tomorrow. Again, fairly light in the order of a half inch or less, but we'll take anything that we can get. Uh, drought monitor updated yesterday. Still the moderate drought here in the bluegrass, severe down south, but we've had enough moisture to kind of alleviate the uh, concern for the forest fire situation in the southeastern mountains. So we'll continue to add uh, to that. Spotty showers and steady temperatures overnight, 52 the low, 57 tomorrow. Most of the rain in southeastern Kentucky, the extended forecast here. You see the additional chances, especially Sunday and then kind of tapering things down Monday and into Tuesday. A little shot of cooler air along with the breeze on Wednesday, low 40s, but we recover nicely by this time next week with afternoon highs back into the mid 50s.